It's a fine evening here, 1963. The president has been shot, but there are camos to be got. And for those camos, we'll be getting the battle rifles gold and platinum. So like past me was saying, we're beginning our battle rifles done today, and that's four more weapons we're going to be getting towards polyatomic. Crazy angle on the gun here, but to get these things gold, we need to get three kills without dying 10 times for each and every one of them. And then after that, we need to get 25 long shots for all of them, which is going to be a grueling process, but we're going to have to get it done. Anyways, let me show you my weapon builds really quick. Here's my build for the Lockman 762. And for this one, I'm mainly using the attachments that go with the blueprint that I have for it because I just really like how it looks. This is my SO14. This is my TAC V. And this is my FTAC Recon. And here's what the class I'm going to be using for all these is looking like. These might not be the craziest builds, but they're kind of working for me while I was getting some camos for them, so I'm just going to stick with what I got. Anyways, let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done. All right, so there's a few things here that I want to address at the top of the video. Uh, first of all, as you can probably tell, uh, I still don't fully have my voice back yet. Uh, I was screaming my head off at the Lions game. Completely lost my voice there, but it's slowly coming back. The other thing I want to talk about is at the time I'm recording this, Shoot House is out, and I will definitely be playing that. I'll be putting up a video tomorrow on it. And this video was meant to go out Tuesday, but I'm recording it right now, Tuesday morning, because I was having computer issues yet again. Uh, if you've been watching for a little bit, you've seen that uh, I I've had my fair share of the camo curse, both in-game and out of it, with my computer just completely shitting out on me for no reason. So I've gone through and I've replaced my motherboard, my power supply. Uh, I got a new M.2 drive. Uh, I got a new SSD. I'm switching windows over to the M.2 drive. I I've completely replaced my RAM. Uh, the only thing I haven't replaced is like my CPU and my graphics card. So hopefully neither of those are the issues and everything goes well from here on out. But now that I said that, it's not going to, so I need to knock on wood. But I wanted to get these weapons done before Shoe House came out. I'm not trying to do battle rifles on Shoe House. It just seems like the worst possible weapon to use on there. I think LMGs, which is our next class, will be perfect for it. So I've been saving those for that. And I am getting dusted in this game, so I'm backing out. But just wanted to clear it up. I will be playing Shipment. I think I might have said Shoe House earlier. That's my mistake. I, I, I see Shipment and Shoe House like synonymous with each other. Because I just played so much Modern for 2019 and Shoot the Ship was like the only two maps in that game. You know, besides like Hackney Yard. I'm very excited for it to come out and I will be playing it. But uh, just, a, just a day late, the video will be up. But I'm hyped that we're, we're getting some more multiplayer content. I think we need even more than shipment don't get me wrong i'm grateful that it's coming out i want to see some other maps come out uh, the map that i've been thinking about a lot recently for whatever reason i even think it was like my favorite map but i just like i don't know when i think of like og modern warfare 2 i think of skid row i don't know what it was about that map but i really liked it i think it'd be cool to have like a whole like og map playlist but i'm sure they're, they're saving that all for the whole like 70 dollar dlc that they're gonna put in next year which is a shame really I, I don't want them to drip feed us multiplayer content just because they can sell us some more later but that's probably what's going to happen i don't want the game to be dead before then because that was a big issue with modern Warfare 2019 like i said earlier like shipment and shoe house felt like they're the only maps in the game that's because they really provided like no new content they they added in like new modes and stuff which was great but they didn't start adding in like decent maps till way late into the game i just don't want them to, to repeat that you know Okay, we finally got our first three kills without dying with this gun. We just need to do that nine more times. And I gotta tell you, the battle rifles are the most mid weapons in this game. I, I guarantee if you were to ask anybody what their favorite weapons were, there's probably one person out there that says that the battle rifles are just to be like a contrarian. Like it's it's like the, the nine out of 10 dentists agree that the battle rifles fucking suck. Like I don't really see anything about these that makes me go like, you know what? I want to use these more besides that I have a, a, a cool blueprint for this. I think the only one that I, I kind of liked was like the TAC V and that's because it's basically just like automatic. It's like uh, an AR LMG hybrid. It's like a, a lighter LMG, but a heavier AR. Oh shit. Go ahead, repeat, please. Come on. Okay, well, I didn't get the kill. Oh, we're still alive. We just need one more. Fuck me, dude. But I am happy that when we get this class done, we're going to be like, I think six weapons away from polyatomic. Maybe less. I think right now we're nine weapons away. Oh, so, so we'll only have five weapons left after this, actually. I was close. If there's, there's one thing I suck at, or actually two things. There's two things that I'm awful at. Reading, writing, and math. <laughs> That's perfect. That was actually three. I can't believe that. Like, I, I cannot do mental math to save my life. Put a gun to my head and ask me what, like, 47 plus 63 is? 
I'm gonna be dead. Like, I, I gotta write it out to do it. My brain don't work like that. One thing I really wish I could do in this game, though, is disable tax sprint. Because ever since Modern Warfare 2019, where you're, like, rewarded for sprinting so much, like, you could play super aggressively and get away with it, I've been doing it in the last three CODs. And it has not uh, been that great for me, like transitioning into this game. Because every time I go to sprint in a game, I'm double tapping my sprint key. And doing that activates uh, your tax sprint. And every time I'm tax sprinting is when I die. Holy shit. Who could have guessed? And I have a very bad habit of immediately sprinting right after I get a kill or reloading. Both things is what you should not do. And I literally can't stop myself from doing it. I think I need to just completely disable my sprint if I want to, you know, actually get far in these like three kills without dying challenges. COD reloading and tax printing for me is a disease and I can't kick it. There, there is no cure for my stupidity and my awful gaming habits. You know what? Let me try switching to this to the full auto version. I've been using it single shot like the entire time I've used the gun. Maybe if we have this on full auto, it'd be a lot easier for me. Okay. Why haven't I been doing this the whole time? I just figured that the battle rifles are going to be like all mainly single shot. And that's just how they are. I don't really change like firing modes. And now we've already gotten a three kills without dying this game. See, the, the idiot disease is a bad one because you just do stupid shit all across the board if you don't catch it at some point. All right, you go first. What the fuck? Dude got headshotted with the RPG and took me out with him. I hate it here. Oh, we are just getting greased up and fucked in this game. We're getting dominated. That's not gonna stop me, though. Oh, yeah, I will. I just got every angle locked down. Can't go anywhere. And I'm even dying in the ending screen. I went like 18 and 49. Oh, 18 and 23. Basically the same thing. Actually, what's my KD in this game overall? Have I moved at all from like 1.01? Oh yeah, I have. I have moved from 1.01. I'm at just 1.0. Eight kills off from being negative. This is awful. Ooh, Colette. We take those. I just need one more kill here. And then we get three without dying. Perfect. Bring it on the rest of you. Let's go. Oh. Ooh, eat that, bitch. A little delicious throwing knife for you. You want another one? Nope, you just get bullets. You can also get some bullets. Anyone else want some bullets? They're free. There we go. And I'll take some too, I guess. Jeez, that person barely even saw me and did enough damage to red screen me. That's ridiculous. Time to kill in this game is wild. Maybe I just need to go for like more headshots to try to keep up. Because the headshot multiplier in this game is also kind of crazy. I think that kind of adds into the time to kill being wild. Or just me not getting as many kills. I actually need to get some domers. I think I'm going to try to go to the rest of this game without sprinting and see if I do any better. Okay. Already got that kill. I would have died trying to ADS. And then slept there. Put my face right in that guy's ass. Did you see that? Gave him a little whiff on the way out. I feel like I'm playing Counter-Strike now. And I'm still getting fucked up. It's basically the same game then. That was ass at Counter-Strike. I played that shit so much. I played so much CSGO. And I don't think I ever got higher than like Gold Nova 4. Ooh, that helped a little bit. I sprinted just a tad there. Just a little bit. Just a taste. But uh, I think we got a little bit of progress that game. Just a little. A tiny bit. Oh, we're only one away from getting this one done. Let's go. And the pattern on the blueprint kind of looks cool in gold. I like that. Oh, what? Weapon challenge. Oh, I must have had two kills at the end of the last game. That's sick. All right. One kill in this game. We're already done. On to our SL14. Somebody kill me. Go ahead. Now, this gun is basically like the DMR part two, the sequel. Bonus edition. I don't know if I like it. It was kind of a pain in the ass to get the like the other camos for this, but maybe uh, I'll change my tune here. And I think this is also like the first weapon I'm using a uh, optic on it. Like I have this little uh, mini dot on it or triangle square plus sign cross thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just in the middle of me shooting this guy. Let me let me just freeze my game. But maybe uh, we can do some work with this. I can switch this one to full auto too, so I might as well try that out. Okay, that went significantly worse than the last time we tried that. But I did see that this gun does have a 50 round drum. And I think if I'm using this full auto, I might want to switch to that. Because 25 shots, I don't know if that's enough for me. I'm going to be missing a lot of those. Oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's get rid of this optic. Optic, where you at? Lele. Magazine, double it. And we're going to need something for recoil control. So um, uh, let's just try this one for now. See if we do any better. Ooh, this still feels like it takes a lot of bullets to kill at range with this. 
Oh, and yeah, have fucking last stand on, dickhead. There we go. I think that's three kills without dying. Holy shit. Maybe I need a different barrel on this too. What barrel do I have on here? Actually, I feel like this is the best damage barrel we have. I don't know if there's anything we can do better. Maybe I just need to get used to the gun. Let's not try to change things too much. Let's try to get used to it and then we'll mess around with it. But the amount of hit markers I'm getting right there is kind of ridiculous. He was laying down and I'm shooting him literally like head and shoulder area. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And it's still taking like five, six hit markers before he kicks the bucket. Okay, that was a double somehow. Don't know what happened there. If I could just get one more, I would be a very happy man. No way you have last stand and you're down behind the crate. Fuck you. That's like even worse version of the camo curse right there. That's just taunting me. I'm being like camo cucked. There we go. That should be progress then. I think this might be the game that uh, my KD officially goes negative. I'm getting fucked up. They're just using 74 U's running around corners absolutely just demolishing me from any range it's like this gun can't keep up and neither can i and on top of that they have an attack helo but thank god we're out of there please don't be too negative Ooh, 13 and 24 is not a good look please don't be under oh we're getting close oh actually we we made quite a distance on a few games here i just don't want to have a negative kd i'm perfectly fine at 1.0 if i go under i'm gonna feel real bad about myself but we can go ahead and toss gold here on our lockman and we're still a ways away on our so 14. i'm switching out my stock for a rear grip now because i really need some recoil control on this thing it's like every time i shoot my gun's going straight to the sky even how hard I pull my mouse down, it, it seems like it don't help too much. Or maybe this gun's just better single shot and I'm putting it on full auto just to, you know, be me. Just to try to make it easier on myself. And it doesn't seem like it's doing that. Oh, apparently I never put on that rear grip because I have something on here where I can't. It says it's blocked by the stock that I have on, but I don't have a stock on. So what the fuck's going on over here? It says blocked by a stock that doesn't even exist. The SO90. SO90 don't exist. Okay, cool. So I guess no recoil control for me. I guess I can just tune it for it and then just put on some stock that might help. And before I was so rudely interrupted by the game starting, I'm going to try out this stock. Okay, I think we got the recoil figured out now. It is super stable. Now let's see if that helps my little pea brain get a few more kills. Seems like it is. I think that's another three times. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice triple. And we're dead, but it's all right. We still get progress. Ooh, that's three. Can I please be done with this gun now? Or what do I need? Like 15 more? Ooh, am I done yet? Please? Come on. Nope. When did I get this done? Why didn't it tell me? I've been using this thing. Okay, well, apparently we did get it done. Now, this right here was the only weapon I liked out of the battle rifles doing them, and that's because it was full auto, and I didn't really look at it if I could switch the, you know, firing mode on the rest of them. So, maybe this is my least favorite now. We'll see. Seems like it's time to kill us significantly faster than the other ones, besides right there where I'm shooting the guy in his nuts. Honestly, I think a nut shot should be like equal to a headshot. Because you're not still going to be walking around getting your, your balls blown off, you know? You're immediately hitting the deck. Ooh, and we already got three kills without dying with it. Nope, I think this gun's still my favorite. Ooh, we got to be getting close. To getting this one done. Did I just get a clat there? Holy shit. Oh, we do have it done. Let's go. On to our last one. Now, this one. Can we switch it to full auto? Oh, we. I think we can. I don't know if I like that, though. Especially with only 15 bullets in the mag. Hmm. Actually, no. That kills pretty quick. I like it a little bit. Oh. Barely. This is definitely the toughest gun to do. The sheer lack of ammo in the mag is crazy. It makes me want to cob reload even more. But to be fair, I will cob reload even if there's like a 150 round mag. Ooh, we actually successfully got higher than a bloodthirsty this game. And we're still going. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I take it back. Maybe this one isn't the hardest gun. I think maybe we just had a flow. We're, we're in the camo flow state. This gun actually does feel pretty satisfying though on full auto. It feels like I, I'm just tapping that fast. Ooh, come on. One more kill. One more kill. One more kill. Fuck. 
Oh, come on. I think one more kill and then we got this. As long as I can stay alive right here. Now I literally can't find anybody except for right here. Oh, please be it. I literally don't even have any ammo left. That might be it though. Oh, wait. Scavenger, help me out. Am I done? I don't think so. Maybe one more three kills without dying. That might be it now. Please. Yes, let's go. Eat that throwing knife. Oh, no, I didn't even hit that. I think that was my VTOL getting a kill as I threw it. But we are completely done with gold on all these. And now we just need to do our long shots. And to be honest, I don't know if I can get long shots in core with any weapon reliably. So I might go ahead and switch to tier one. Maybe I'll try some single shots down mid. And I'm pretty sure the long shot distance on this is the same as the marksman rifles. It's going to be like 38 meters. So kind of a, kind of a distance on that. And I'm just getting walloped. I'm backing out. I'm going to try this all in tier one. Let's make sure that we have all these guns gold real quick. Let's throw it onto here and onto here. All right, cool. Really quick, here are my builds I'm going to be going with to get these long shots. Here's my Lockman 762. Here's my SO14. Here's my TAC V. And here's my FTAC Recon. And I'm probably going to cut out most of this because long shots are really long and boring to do. But I'm hopping in tier one. I'm going to throw something on. I'm going to kick back, relax, watch some shows and try to grind these out and what a great start to this we get to rock and also this gun looks pretty cool with gold on it first long shot of the day i literally need 99 more all right uh, i switched my lockman build up a little bit because i was having awful aim stability like this thing was not accurate at all at range i was missing everything so hopefully this should be better all right cool the lockman is now done three guns to go No way I hit that throwing knife. Dirty. Fuck you. What are you throwing a smoke for? There's no reason to do that. Just for you to get over there and die? Like balls, dude. Ooh. Still gotta kill through the smoke, though, because I'm just goaded with the sauce. Oh, after about an hour and a half, we got two done. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm one away on the TAC V. This is fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just need to do the FTAC recon now. I wonder how long these 25 long shots are going to take. Damn, dude. The long shots are already beating the shit out of me. You know, I'm going to do it too. Are we almost done now? Oh my god, we need four more. Please let it end. One. Two. Three. Maybe four. That's probably not far enough. Oh, that's got to be four right there. I think that's all of our long shots. I'm going to get like one or two more to be sure. And then I'm backing out of this game. I can't do this anymore. Long shots have literally taken me, I think it's been two and a half hours. The most boring, useless challenge in this game. Nobody enjoys doing these. Remove them immediately. I demand it. I would rather do like 10 kills without dying. Even though that would be even more impossible for me. But at least it'd be more fun to do. Maybe I'd get better at the game. This teaches you nothing besides... Better buckle up and spend eight hours doing this. Okay, that's gotta be it. I'm leaving. Please be done. Please show me platinum. All right, let's go. Oh, thank God. So now we are 46 out of 51 platinum. We just have our LMGs left and we are done. And just so I can make sure that it's real, this is what the FTAC recon looks like with platinum. And this is the TAC V. I'd show you the rest, but I am fucking dead tired. I want to go to bed. But there you have it. Another class done. We're only one class away right in time for shipment. So tomorrow, hopefully we'll be getting another one done. Oh no, I can't get long shots in shipment. I just realized. Shipment's going to be out. We're going to be able to get gold on it. Fine. And then we have to go and play fucking tier one. So I'm going to go mentally prepare for that with a nice long nap. Maybe I'll go into a coma or something just to recover from this. But uh, I'm out of here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will see you guys next time. Later.